She didn't bat an eye As I break my bed No justice. It is my pleasure to introduce my business colleague, an artist for years and years, musician from downstate New York. And welcome, Ian. Thanks for coming on my show. Yes, welcome, Kim. You know, thank you very much, Kimberly. Yes, and uh, I'm late, kind of late, and I'm very sorry, but you know. No, we absolutely happen. adore you. I would wait for you to the moon and back. And okay, okay. can you do you have quite the laundry list? And it's not a bad laundry list, it's a good laundry list of projects. Can you tell me about your story and how did you make it in the business? Well, in the business, you know, you start all from Jamaica, you know, it's a uh, it's really a struggle in the business, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, sometimes you started to sing because you want to, you know, you just want to be a star. You just want to hear yourself on the radio. You just want to see this, um, see yourself on the TV. So, you know, it's more interested um, in that, you know, while, um, you know, started to record. You know, it wasn't even like we're going to it as a business, you know, because at, at that time we didn't even know, I didn't even know that it was a business like that, you know? So, Absolutely and definitely, yeah. and with this but love of it, you know, going around right now, it's important to have artists going out there spreading the world of positivity and solutions. Can you tell me a little bit about she fell in love before we roll it? Well, she fell in love is a song that um. I written because of one of my fans, you know, and my great friend over in the UK. And you know what I'm saying she is a great fan of my music and such, and you know, you know what I'm saying? So communicate and communicate with her is like, you know what I'm saying? Eventually she does inspire me to sing a song, you know, about her vibe, you know, of loving my music. So that's all we go into the studio and we put down this one, you know. And I have to say congratulations. I think I heard somewhere you're a grandfather now. Uh huh. Are you a what grandfather now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got um, two <laughs> grandkids now, you know. A grand um, girl and boy, you know. So, yeah, blessings, you know. Blessings, a lot of blessings, you know. And happy birthday to you. Uh, I'm so yeah. for your birthday. And yeah. it's amazing to celebrate life. And yes, yes. In adversity. And we have so many things going on in this world. We, we kind of like need to get soothed a little bit. So I'm going to roll your first song in its entirety, which is She Fell in Love. And yes. uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about some life stories and okay. laundry list of wonderful, wonderful projects. Okay, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's sweetest of the world. 
whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. And then we're going to roll. And I just wanted to get you going. And I did that on purpose because we never know what's going to happen in this world of entertainment. Yeah. We have to stay on our toes all the time. And tell me a little bit about more about your story of life. How did you get your start in Jamaica? And what's it like to be in rooms to performing to the world and with other celebrities and being a label called a rising legend? Well, because of the way how I grew up and I started singing from a tender age, you know what I'm saying? I kind of get used to, I just kind of get used to getting good music and used to know what I want. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, so I go to a few studios. I go to a lot of studios in Jamaica, a lot of studios. You know what I'm saying? And I advise for everybody. And then I, you know, I, I 
penetrate and see the best producers, you know what I'm saying? And I advise a few songs for them, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you go places and people hear your voice and people say, hey, I would like you to want to do a song for me and my track. And you know what I'm saying? So it and you get sometimes you go places and you get turned back people um don't like you go out an event um and the promoter don't want to pay you pay you rest some money and you know what i'm saying so it's all oh it's i all, know um, <laughs> it's all uh you know i don't call it now um a tag and war in the business you know what i'm saying it's a, it's a lot of tag and war you know what i'm saying producers fighting against artists artists fighting against producer producer fighting against producer artists fighting against artists you know what i'm saying and you know so that's how it always goes it's just it's just connections you know you know connections for me have good connection you know you will involve in what's going on you know what i'm saying so Absolutely. it's just good connection and definitely and you're a god-loving man we, we yeah. don't endorse fighting. I, it, just, it doesn't happen. Can you tell me a little bit about how you land your first label and how did you feel? Well, my label is after I learned a lot of stuff from the producers that I start out with. You know what I'm saying? That is when I coming with my label and I know what I I want, you know what I'm saying, I, what I'm, I, I got to need, you know what I'm saying, so all I do is just put out good songs, so every time people hear those songs and they know which label it's from, they know that, yes, Ian Sweetness, your thing is going on, you know, I, I heard your stuff is all over, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, and it's not like I'm on a major company where you could you could you could um chuck your music and say right Ian Sweetness songs released this week and the first copy this week is seven hundred thousand. He said, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a it's a independent thing I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And it's ears I'm doing my it's ears, yeah, it's ears I am doing my thing, and it's billing, it's billing, and it's billing to the right the right spot right now. You know, it's over the ears. You know what I'm saying? I'm building, I'm building it, I'm building it, and you know, it's it's feeling good now. Like I, I'm, I'm matured, very, very matured, confidential of everything I'm doing right now. So it's all about just work right now, shows. You know, it's just all about shows and those type of stuff right now. And then, yes, you know, absolutely. that's it. Because I've been, I've, been, I've been recording, I've been recording for years, so I'm full of a lot of singles, I'm full of a lot of, uh, um, have a lot of albums that don't release as yet. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of stuff um, to come, a lot of interesting stuff to come. You know. And I know what this business is like being in business, and I haven't been in business as long as you in the entertainment industry, but. <laughs> it takes a time it's process and then there's you have these creative brains all over the place trying to disorganize you how do you stay organized and prioritize and get it back in check so that you can shine you can perform do your shows and be in jamaica and everywhere around the world and keep that legacy well, it's one thing, you know, when, whenever music is something that give you fun and give you joy and give you life, you know what I'm saying? So whenever I listen to one of my music that I just created and just put out, just recorded and, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if my days was even sad, you know, it becomes happy. So I always have a tool that God has given me, you understand me? So if anything come like it's not working, you know, instead of I get depressed, you know what I'm saying, I listen, you know what I'm saying, some great music and, you know, and ready and ready again, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really keep stress and those type of thing in my music game, you know what I'm saying? Because I sing so much nice songs that 
this is about my songs, you know, all stress gone, you know. Because that's what music do. That's what music do, you know. Music, when people stress out, people turn on music. When people feel sick and they want to get some therapy, they turn on music. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, so music is, um, is, a, is a tool also, you know. A solution. The soul. To the depression, the anxiety, yeah. the stress of the world. I agree with you. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about who is your audience and what do you want them to know about you? Well, my audience is not just reggae. You know. My audience is just for people who listen good music and you know accept great artists. You know what I'm saying? That's my artist. That's my audience. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to stop myself in one box and say that I'm just a reggae audience. It's my audience. My audience is world audience. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in this world that love great music and, and, and book up on my stuff on YouTube or anywhere in the, in the world or on, in, on the, the social media. You know what I'm saying? And they check me out. And they get interested. They're going to go and... Um, purchase a copy of my music you know what absolutely I'm definitely and we're all going through a tremendous time and i'm asking this question for a friend i wanted to throw out a statistic to you according to the national library of medicine yeah treatment in adult life you've had some losses in your life how did you cope and adapt after your major loss? Well, my, as, as I say, the way life is nowadays, you don't have to have anybody with a knife or a gun to kill you. You have a thing right, you have stress, you can kill you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, a major loss, all I have to do is just work and get back on the levels that I want to get back because life is a roller coaster. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so anything that is lost, it can come back for you have life. You know what I'm saying? So how I deal with major last, I just continue work until it get back together and i can know that okay now we are ready to roll to do what we have to do to build the thing we started and it did messed up we get a major last last and i'm saying so okay we brush off with photo brush off with, and then we eat back the road again you understand me? So that's that's okay. uh, that's what that's how we deal with major loss. You know what I'm saying? It's from from it's not life. From it's not taking your life. and not taking your voice. and not taking your feet or your hand. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you know what I'm saying we can uh, work with, try work with. You know. And the statistic I want to share is about a quarter of widows and widows widders meaning people that have lost their spouses will experience clinical depression and anxiety during the first year of bereavement the risk drops about 17 percent by the end of the first year and there are many people grieving the losses of their loved ones right now whether it's a spouse a friend a loved one I'm going to roll another song and we're just going to listen to the words and uh, soothe brains. This is Ian Sweetness. Okay.
my soul. She said my voice is full of tenderness. Excuse me, as she must confess. Ooh, I made her day. Listen to that song all week and I'm not tired of it yet. <laughs> <laughs> party was very nice just me very nice everybody who came to the party you know what i'm saying could tell it somebody about the party that you know it was one of the nicest party they have been in us this was very great very great awesome i'm glad and a big happy birthday to you and tell me about do you like performing alone or with other stars better well it's no difference, you know. To me, it's no difference. You know, it's just performance. You know, it's just performance. Anybody's there. You know what I'm saying? I just gonna put in my work. You know I'm saying depends on who is there. I'm gonna put in more work. And uh, what projects do you have coming up? I know you do a lot of shows in Queens, and you're going to Jamaica someday. What's happening? Well, we are got a lot of things lining up. In, on an, um, in process right now. You know, I have a lot of stuff in process right now, like um, a tour. You understand me? We have, we, have, we, have, yeah. we have the UK, we have UK coming, we have Europe, oh, we have Africa. Goodness. You know, the last time I tour, the last time I tour in UK, it was long, 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 long decades ago. It was from in the 90s. I tour in the UK. What's it like going on tour? Is it lonely? It's very nice. Very nice. It's very, it, it's very, it's hard work though. You know, when you, when you eat the road, are you ready to tour? I started to go places. Yeah, it's nice music, nice shows, but it's hard work. Very, very hard work. And you have the voice of an angel, as I've said before, but I don't believe you've been labeled a rising legend. However, you're everywhere. You're all around the world. You've been doing this a while. You are an international artist. So what one person's opinion, like, would that outweigh the fact that you really are a legend? <laughs> no, well, well, you are up and now. Is it you a legend? You know, I guess a legend is somebody who in the business for for a little for a while. And I'm saying who oh, people knows of him. He's do a lot of music out there, a lot of songs out there. You understand me that people, you know, a lot of people knows. You understand me? So I rather to know that I'm in the business more than twenty years, I would state myself as a legend, you know what I'm saying? You're so humble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. If one, what goes into composing music, creating that music, and then getting it out there? 
well, it's all about a craft, you know. It's all about a craft. So, when you go to the events, sometimes you ask people, you know, what do you feel? What do you like about music? What do you like? What part in the music do you like? What, you know, what vibe of a music you like, of a song you like? And, you know, so sometimes you ask people, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you, have, you reach inside of the studio and you're recording you now, you know, you remember what, what people always like, you know, certain songs that they like from Ian Sweet, the song. You know what I'm saying? I go inside the, the, the lab and I lay it down. So when I go in the lab, I, I, I confidentially, you know what I'm saying, I confidence enough and I know what I'm going to do and I know how I want it to sound. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I do. I just go into the studio and I do what I go in there to do. And I know that by the time I comes out, it's going to touch his souls. It's going to rock feet. It's going to move hands. It's going to make face smile. You do your research and so do we. And Ian and I have been in one room together, two rooms together, multiple rooms together. And I want to, I have to go to one of your shows at some point, but I'm so busy plugging and playing your songs and we're going to, we're going to make this happen soon. Yes. <laughs> and That's so true. Ian, tell me a little bit about what people don't know about you that you might want your audience to know. Well, I'm passionate about my music, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I always try to do the best so people, so I could hear the best from people. And I'm somebody who I love to pray because I know that there's a creator and there's a God. So I love to do my prayer and you know, I love, I love people, you know what I'm saying? I love people, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? So you have a lot of people nowadays, they say, oh, I don't love people. I love people, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a human being and I'm a, my mom and my dad and my sisters, my brother, my friends, neighbors, you know what I'm saying? They are people. So, you know, we have to love people. You don't know, just come like you want to love yourself and love family. I love all, all strangers, you understand me? Yeah, I show love to people. I don't see people like they're dying and then you want to try to take out my phone just to take a picture or to take a video of it. You know, I would try to help as fast as I can. You know what I'm saying? So. Absolutely. <laughs> and you are definitely a good person. You're so delightful to have in a room. What would you, What? who would you most admire in your life that is a celebrity and a non-celebrity. Oh, well, I admire in my life is my, as a celebrity, is like uh, some singers like Teddy Prendergast and David Ruffin and, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, a couple more, Lionel Richie and, you know what I mean, I say, there's a few more, you know, like Barry Salmon, Jamaican and, you know, and all of those type of singers, you know. Yeah, and and my dad, who is not a star, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's one of them too. You know what I'm saying? My motivator and things, you know, cause he bought me, he bought me guitar, he sent me a violin school, he sent me a piano school, you know what I'm saying? So can't leave out my dad as the non star. Absolutely. Where, you know what I'm saying? He's part of my stuff, you know. Shout out to your dad, absolutely. Our, our parents yeah, teach us. Rest and in peace, daddy. Absolutely. And pray, praying for your granddaughter. That's the, or, in, or your daughter and your grandchild. is Granddaughter, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> so what is your most exciting moment? in a show or in a recording studio where you're like, I'm a performer. The exciting moment for me is when I sing my song and it, and it give me goose pimple. It raise my, 
you know, my pulse and, you know what I'm saying, and everybody in the studio who was there, is feel, they are feeling the same way. You understand me? Everybody catch that same feeling the same time, you know. Engineer, everybody, you know, so we have to stop the song that time and everybody start to talk about the feeling that they get in the, top, in the part of the song. You know, so that was nice, excited. That's an excited type of stuff, you know, to me. You know what I mean? I say, to know that what I'm putting into the song, people is feeling it immediately in the studio and I am feeling it immediately also. So, you know, we know that it's running through the veins, you know? It's touching soul, <laughs> it's touching soul already before it gets on the road, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely and definitely. And you record, how many hours would you say you practice? It, to record mm. and perform? Uh, yeah, sometimes we sing for you. Like, we used to sing like on sound system, so sometimes we can sing it for morning at the night, go straight back till morning. You understand yeah. me? Yes, I'm thinking about now. Um, like now, we work for like a three hour, three, four hours in the studio, and you know, we can take a break. How do you rest your voice? Yeah. <laughs> no, so far, I go sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, sleeping's very important in nutrition for performers. Yeah. Uh, is there any specific diet you stick to to stay energized? Well, you know, I'm kind of spoiled when it comes on to certain stuff, you know, so I still try my best, you know, to eat vegetables and and fruits too, you know. I still try my best to do that, you know, and you know, and kinda of eliminate some of the rice and and the starch and the sugar, you know, but you know, sometimes maybe true my name is Ian Sweetness, you know. I always end up drinking I always end up with the sugar, you know. <laughs> Absolutely and definitely. And I appreciate you, Ian. Any shout outs of anybody that has helped you along the way that you want to give the limelight to right now? Yeah, man, enough respect goes out to my friends, you know, all over in Florida, California, New York, you know, Arizona, UK, you know what I'm saying, Africa. You know me I say big up to all the friends and maybe I don't call um the names them but you know <clears throat> enough of them know. Absolutely. Say you know me I say um you know I'm saying Ian sweetness of them in the in this you know in his thoughts. You know me I say so big up my bridge in them from New York, big up Kirky Shine, you know me I say big up to to Punkin and you know me I say big up to um Super D and you know I say big up to Bush and the whole family, you know me I say you don't know you see me I say big up. Yeah man, that's big up to Lynn. You see me I say, yeah man, and the whole crew from out of Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Yes, no respect and continue to listen to Ian Sweetness and tell a friend to tell a friend about Ian Sweetness and remember Ian Sweet Ian underscore sweetness on Instagram, Ian Sweetness. Um, on Facebook, and you can just Google me, ask Siri for me, or Google Ian Sweetness, and you can find my music or uh, all the platforms that I'm on. Absolutely, Ian. And Ian's going to Africa. That's the announcement. He's going to the UK. He's everywhere. On everywhere we're going. Digital platforms, CDs. You're Tell us about when, before we wrap, I want to learn more about how we can book you and who we go to to book you and how we stream your music. Oh, well, to book Ian Sweetness, you know, uh, we have emails, you know, like Ludlow, Ian, 66 at gmail.com you know when you get to that email and you send an email there you know i can send it off to the people who uh 
um, it's going to be doing the communication and the bookings. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have all the information here. So, but if if anybody wants to book ENC, you can email me at l u t l o w i a n six six at gmail dot com. You know, and check me out. I'm, I'm also on Instagram. Now my Instagram um name is Ian underscore sweetness. You can inbox me. You understand me and we leave you to the people them who is doing the bookings and you know what I'm saying? And anybody else who hear Ian Sweetness voices out there and you think that there's a show out there that you would like to see Ian Sweetness, you know, call up. You know, you can call up and get Ian Sweetness on the show. So I could be in your town. Absolutely and definitely. There's never going to be a silent night with Ian and we're all night long with Ian Sweetness. He's amazing. Ian, anything you want our audience to know that we haven't discussed? Well, all I wanted to know is just continue. Look out for Ian Sweetness. Keep your ears open. And we are on for the ride, musical ride. Absolutely and definitely. Ian Sweetness is all about love. He yes. is an amazing soul in person and has the voice of an angel. And I adore him with my heart and soul and would love to be in a room with him every day if I could. Yeah. So you should go out there and see Ian. He, 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 Ian, you perform a lot in Queens, right? And when's the next show? Yeah, I perform a lot in Queens, but I don't really want to perform a lot in Queens. So I'm not going to perform in Queens right now for now until okay. maybe I, um, next year, a couple, couple more months before. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but from the people, they book me, you know, I'm out. That's how it is. And they book me, you know, I'm ready to work. So um, wherever, wherever the shows come, that's where I'm going to be. Absolutely. And Ian is a a diamond in the rough you want him and ian can you leave us with a quote so we can wrap huh? can you leave us with a quote be so we before okay we yeah man well the quote is i want to leave us with right now is isn't it for me not for me from from for me don't dead we cannot dash you away. You understand me? Yes, for me, I have life. There's hopes. And who oh God bless, no man curse. God bless and happy Hanukkah to our Jewish friends. And yes. I will look for you, Ian, in a live performance. I'll look for your invites and we'll get you back on the show. Maybe we could do live at some point too when you're doing yes. in the UK. God bless yeah. you, Ian. Yeah, same to you, Kimberly. They can see Hello, my name is Maria Perez. I am from San Antonio, Texas. 34 years ago, I was a victim of human trafficking. Hello, I'm Brian Shree from Texas. As a previous probation and parole officer who supervised the most violent and repeated sex offenders in Florida and in Texas, human trafficking continues to this day as one of the most heinous crimes of modern day society. I'm Kimberly Trapani, all consuming film. Right now, traffics are robbing a staggering 24 Point nine million people of their freedom and basic human dignity. That's roughly three times the population of New York City. Jay, 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 Jay.
police uh but the the police declined to uh file a report they didn't do anything they listened to the story and said well there's nothing we can do for you Although she was four, she's she's actually very petite for her age. So she she could have passed for a two year old, and that's that makes it even worse. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're trying to take a child that they think won't even put up a fight. Went along with him, and the area was not appropriate for any good woman to be at. It was more of a men's bar. When I saw him opening the trunk, I didn't want to get off. I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave from that area. I just wanted to stay stuck in my seat. And he remember, he says, get off the vehicle. And he shows me his gun. So I got off the vehicle and I was very much wanted to run. You have no idea how much I wanted to run, but I couldn't run in those shoes. Um, and I remember seeing seeing a church on my left hand side and then to and me i was praying to god it was a catholic church it was a Virgen de San Juan church i remember that i can see it from the area i was at in that area i will never forget the church the area i was at that's when he put me in the trunk then he drove was driving me to to the border operate in a direction that is a little bit more logical <laughs> and that's where the controlling and that's where he was no and now i own you to say and i'll say it again america has to get better at fixing a broken system mm -hmm in ways of direct communication with legislators and having human trafficking, child abuse, violence, child sex crimes, pedophilia, rape, domestic violence, a priority of the legislators. And until it happens to a member of the government, we can only create a sense of urgency for them by staying in their face. kidnapped because she was taken by a stranger without permission and she was moved to a different part of the store so that's the very definition of kidnapping so she did successfully kidnap her she just didn't get away with her if you tell anyone i will hurt you and your family potentially she could have gone later on and and, and maybe kidnapped other children maybe have multiple children we just we don't know because we let this one get away and didn't pursue like, like we should have. We as women have to work together to make this world a little bit better. That the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. This nation will rise up Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. I'm 
with sin, Lord. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I need a God sent ass. So bring me home to be with you. I swallowed all I could. I wanna see your precious face as well as too much, Lord. So bring me to a better place. I tried to win the game. Play it with a double lace. Instead, I roll snake eyes, which brought me to another phase. I was 18, living like a cycle kid. There's no way you're telling just what the street cycle did. What I did, I never lived quite the way I should have been. So, Lord, please forgive me not for everything I ever did. Falsely accused of something that I never do. They got no clue about what I do to be with you. Can't even see what I need to do with this life. Like standing in a dark tunnel, where is the light? Like living in the bottom of a pit. The bottom of the it's pit. Like living in the bottom of a pit. The bottom of the pit. I will never quit. I'll go the distance. Hard work pays off. You're on my witness. Like living in the bottom of a pit. The bottom of the it's pit. It's like living in the bottom of a pit. The bottom of the pit. When you're down, you gotta look to the one who made us. You can't fail, homie. He's the only one to save us. I said before that the world just can't contain us. Proving every day with kids' faces on milk containers. I try to cope with the loss of an old friend. We